Hello, I'm Jen Barnaby, and this is the next in my series of videos on Apache NiFi. This video will go over the summary page in the management section of the toolbar. The summary page is a useful tool for data flow managers when they want to monitor their data flow and troubleshoot any issues in the flow. You get to the summary page by clicking the first button in the management section of the toolbar just to the right of the search bar. If I click that, it opens to a new window with a table showing information about the different components on my graph. By default, you land on the Processors tab here, but you also have tabs for input ports, output ports, remote process groups, and connections. I'm actually going to focus on the Processors tab and the Connections tab mainly in this video. In the Processors tab over here to the left, I have a column with View Details buttons for each processor. This allows me to quickly look at how each processor is configured. In case I see an issue with it here in the table, I can quickly determine what's going on with that particular processor. I can also see any bulletins that are being produced by processors. And in fact, any of these columns can be double-clicked to sort them. So if I double-click that particular column, I can have the bulletin producing processors come right up to the top here and see any pro um, processors I currently have that are producing bulletins. I can also sort on the name, the type, the run status, for example. And I can look at all of the metric information that each processor has, which corresponds to the information you can see right on the face of the processor in the graph. All the way over here to the right, I can see that um, statistical information in this show history window, which shows a graphical representation of those metrics. So if I select the metric I want from this drop-down menu, I'll see it represented here, and I can zoom in on that information by clicking on this lower graph, and I can see everything at a more granular level over time and in five minute increments. And I can also slide this over that period of time and see the changes that have occurred. Finally, right next to the Show History button is this Go To arrow. This allows me to jump right to a processor on the graph so I can further my troubleshooting of that processor and see how it's behaving within the flow. If I go back to the summary window, I can see how that go-to arrow can really be used in the Connections tab as well. So if I go to the Connections tab, one thing I typically do here um, is I go right to this Q size column and I sort on that. And that allows me to sort on any queues that are building up with flow files and figure out what's going on with them. So I have this queue that has over a thousand flow files building up in it, and I can go ahead and go to that go to arrow and jump right to that connection and look at it and determine why I have those flow files queuing up. Here I can see it's because this processor is stopped. So if I want to clear out this over a thousand flow files that are in this queue, I can just go ahead and start this processor and those flow files just clear right out of there. Now the last thing I want to show in the summary page is this system diagnostics window. If I click that open, I can see information about the JVM and how it's being used and garbage collection and so forth. And I can also click on the system tab to see how the disk utilization is for the flow file repository and the content repository. This can be really useful not only for data flow managers, but also for processor developers so they can see how efficiently their processors are working and how they affect the JVM and disk utilization. That concludes what I want to show you in the NIFI summary page. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.